Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Creel, Ambassador of Pen Seeker, owner of VC Golf, and today we thought it would be neat for us to share what we thought were the coolest things that came out in 2022 and that I use in my own instruction and my own training each and every day. So let's get this party started. So I'm gonna start off with a training aid, okay? I got a couple of training aids I'm gonna mention. I couldn't just narrow it down to one, but one of my favorites that I use in my instruction world all the time is, is this. And uh, before I forget the name, it's called the Plane Mate. It's uh, made by Tour Striker, so the Plane Mate. This is not a new training aid. It's been out for several years. Uh, I believe it got training aid of the year several times. Um, but they redid it this year, and they made it better. It's better quality. It fits better. It moves better. It's easier to slide. Um, and I'll put it on in just a sec and show you how it works. But the, the biggest thing is, is it can fit a large adult all the way to a small kid, so it's more we can, we can spread it between several people with one unit rather than having multiple. So I'm gonna throw this thing on, it's easy, and you'll see it has a clip here. So you twist it onto the club, clip this on here. This comes with three different bands. Um, this is the one that I use most of the time. It's a shorter band for shorter shots. And you can see, clips right on really easy. You put it on if you've ever had like a weight belt or something, you just throw it on, very comfortable. And the goal of this thing is if you tend to get steep, if you have a problem shallowing out and you're trying to work on shallowing out, or if you cast the club, this thing is really gonna help you. And most of my golfers come over the top, so this thing is really critical to feel what it's supposed to feel like in the golf swing to shallow out. So, what you want to do is you want to feel tension on the way back. You don't want it to rip you back inside. That's not a correct way to practice. So, you want to feel tension, get it up top, and then you want to relax and allow this thing to really pull those clubs and that hands and keep those hands behind you. So, let's go ahead and hit one. And also, another unique thing about this, is it helps you with the chicken wing. So if you chicken wing, this thing's gonna get, this band's gonna get caught and this club's gonna stay this way. You wanna finish with your arms together here and the band misses you. So great training aid. I'm gonna jump to my next favorite training aid and this is probably the one I use most of all training aids. Um, I definitely do and that's something that I use myself. It is the alignment disc. This thing, you'll see it has pre-drilled holes in it at these angles, and then there's one here that's 90 degrees. This is not a part of it. This is something that I put in there, but any alignment rod will work. And I'm gonna put this at the camera. Grab a wedge. And this is the primary thing that I use it for. So, for people that get steep, they'll hit it here. So it helps you shallow out and fill it. It also, if you tend to shallow out too much, you'll hit it. So it'll help my golfers not get underneath, underneath it or too shallow. So it'll help them swing more down the line. Another good one. I love this because it's so multi-purpose. So it can help with early extension. So if I come off of it, you can see the gap between there. So I want to feel the pressure there. If you have a problem with swaying on the takeaway, I don't want to hit it, so when I take it away, I don't want to slide into it. I want to keep resting up next to it, no extra pressure, and swing through. And then to help me get to my lead side, you want to start out with a gap, and we want to nudge it. We want to nudge it on the downswing while we rotate. The opportunities with this are endless. You can get creative. 
and do a lot of more things, but those are the primary things that I use it for. Really cool training aid. I highly recommend it. And again, it's called the alignment disc from Y Golf. So let's get into golf clubs. I'm going to go ahead and start out with this. So the Callaway Jaws is nothing new. They've been out for several years. But this year they came out and made a better version. It's called the Jaws Raw. Mine has a little bit of custom stamping on there. But the neat thing is, is they helped the weighting. They worked on the hosel a little bit. And the neat thing about it is you can see the difference in the face. This one has a little bit of rust on it, hence the raw version. So it helps with spin. And I will say that it was a close battle between the SM9s. Vokies can't go wrong with them. I love them. I really like them. But these are the ones I'm gaming, so take it for what it's worth. I like the Callaway, the Callaway Jaws Raw. Very, very good wedges. I'm going to just keep it in the short game. Um, this putter is excellent. I, uh, I've always kind of played with a Scotty Cameron. Recently, I moved to a Benton Artie. I love Benton Artie putters. I think that's probably one of the best putter brands out there. They just really have good feel. They roll the ball really good. Good weights, conservative head designs. Just very, very nice. But Ping really outdid themselves this year creating the PLD line. And this is called the Prime Tine 4. You can see it here. I play mine at 32 inches. And what I really like about it is how skinny the profile is. So it's not real bucky, bulky. It has a mallet look to it. So you still have the forgiveness of a mallet and consistency of a mallet, good weight. You can also see how small it is from the face to the back of the putter and heel to toe. A lot of times I find that mallets can just get too big and too bulky. Not this thing. I've putted some of the best that I've ever putted with this putter. It rolls it really good. Unique feel. It's, it's almost a firmer feel, but really solid. It's just, I can't explain it. A lot of times putters just get too soft and you have a hard time controlling speed. Love that putter. New for me this year, um, I swapped from Titleist to the Callaway MBs. Love these things. Very low profile, good weight. I use the Project LZ 6.0, 120 gram shafts. This combination has just been really good to me. Uh, so. Big fan of the Callaway MB irons, love them. So driver, I'm sticking with Callaway, it's been a good head. Um, I, I, I played the, uh, the Titleist heads, love those too, but this one just squeaked out a few more yards for me and it was pretty consistent. So the LS version of the Triple Diamond. So very, very good driver, really love it. Um, Callaway is dropping a new driver uh, at the end of the year, beginning of next year. I actually get to see it and hit it next week. So hopefully they'll allow me to shoot some content with it, but it is, uh, it's a big jump in the technology for them. It's a complete change. So I think they're going to a carbon fiber top of the head. Um, so really, really nice. And you can see the shaft. Let's go ahead and look at the shaft. This is a Ventus TR. So it's the tour version of the Ventus. So Ventus came out, came out with a red um, a blue and a black shaft a year or two ago. Well, they found out that they wanted that some golfers that just having three shafts really wasn't fitting everybody's profile, launch profiles and spin profiles. And so what they did is they came out with a red TR, a blue TR and a black TR. So it fills that gap. So the red TR is going to be between red and blue. The blue TR is between blue and black. And the black TR is just super stiff. So I game the blue Ventus TR, and this, these, this, this came out this year, and what I really like about the Ventus or Fujikura, what they did is a couple of times each year they release a limited graphics version, version. and this was uh, Memorial Day, um, and they dropped the Folds of Honor. 
So I regained this shaft. I love this shaft. It feels good. Not only does it have sweet graphics, and I believe there was only like a thousand or two thousand made. Um, it feels good. It's a really good shaft. Here's the black version. So this is new to this year. Here's the black. Really neat. This one's been uncut. So I hope you guys liked kind of my favorite list this year. So I've touched on training aids. I touched on a putter, irons, wedges, driver and driver shaft. Um, one last thing before I forget, and most of you guys are aware of this, but this dropped last November. So a 2021 release, people really got familiar with it in 2022. So I'm going to bring it back up is the RCT ball. Reason why it became more popular is because when it was released, it was designed for TrackMan. Um, now your flight scopes, your Garmin's, and your other radar, probably full swinging those out there, any of those radar units are reworking their algorithms because this thing really helps the units read more accurate. So I think that's really big for the, the, the simulator industry to have a ball that can, get, can increase the accuracy of these units. So really excited about this ball and to see you know, possible competitors come out in 2023. All right, my final favorite product of 2022 is, it's an app. Um, it uses AI technology, it's called Sports Box AI. And this app I use a lot in my instruction and I use it more for my better players or somebody that were really focused on one movement. And the thing is, is when we look at a movement, we can only see so much on camera. So let's say um, we're talking about rotation. Well, we can kind of see on camera, but if we say we improve by three or four degrees on rotation, that's actually a big jump and we're moving in the right direction, but you may not be able to see the benefits of it on camera and it, it'll still look like you're slow in the hips. So what I like to do is use this app on Sportsbox or the, the app Sportsbox AI, and it uses AI technology. You take one video and it gives you all the numbers and it quantifies all these movements of your body. So let's take a look at the app. You can see I've got one of my students here and you can actually zoom in on the top, zoom in on the, the, uh, the 3D image, and the image moves with the golfer, and this is just one video, and you can see how the chest numbers, the pelvis, the hand, and, and all the, uh, the movements are quantified at each one of these points. Another cool thing is, is they have the ability, you can change the view of the golfer, and you can see the hand path, and you hear me talk about, I focus on club path, but the club is an extension of the hands, so I really like to make sure the hand path is clean before we go to the, the, the club, and this is how I do it. Um, this app is really neat. And again, for rotational values of the chest and the hips, it's really big. And then you can actually go into the pelvic tilt. You can go into side bend. You can go into sway. And early extenders, my early extenders, the ones that come here and they lift, you can go into that so we can actually see how much the forehead lifts, the chest lifts. So some really cool data here, but again, it can be overwhelming and you gotta know the data and understand it. Sportsbox does offer um, education on their products. So if you do dive into this, make sure you download the data or go over the data and download it. And again, they actually give you some files that you can save to your desktop that you can refer to. So this golfer, I'm gonna go into his impact and just show you something really cool that we're working on. So he's at impact about right there. That's a little bit after impact. And I'm gonna change the view to face on. And you can see how it matches up nice. And what you're gonna see is his chest turn is 20 degrees. That should be in the upper 20s, low 30s. And his pelvis turn is 26, and that should be in the upper 30s, so around 36. So he needs 10 more degrees on his body rotation to get more efficiency. And you know, we got a series going on about speed and this goes into it. So we've got to get that body going a little bit faster. And another cool thing, and this is a new feature of the app, is I want you to look at the hand tab and you'll notice the speed of the hands. And you can see how he's 20 miles an hour and then it starts slowing to 18 through the impact zone. So his hands are decelerating, which is gonna cause the club to pass the hands. And we can actually see it in the video above. So really cool technology, what they've got going on at Sportsbox AI. I believe there's several founders in that, but Sean Foley, which is known for, you know, a, a short stint or a few years with Tiger Woods. So he knows what's going on. And this stuff is really neat to get a lot of data to just normal players. You don't have to go to an instructor. You just need to understand it. So a really cool app here. And I think this is probably one of the biggest advances for golf for not only instructors, but to the common, you know, regular public. So look at Sportsbox AI, check it out. So make sure you like and subscribe the video. 
Um, we want to hear your favorite products of 2022. We want to know if we missed anything or what's making a big impression on your game for 2022. And if you do like and subscribe and comment, you're going to be entered into a drawing for some vouchers for Pen Seeker so you can play in the cash event. So make sure you do that. And plus, I just want to hear back from you. If you have any questions on the products that you've seen today, comment below. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Happy Pen Seeking.